Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing some Expo Bomb Tower on Top Ladder. I'm going to try to catch up my mini account with my main account, so if you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And Bomb Tower is a really nice card. It's like the best building right now, and it's also like having a fireball in your deck. You know, like, it does a lot of splash, and then the bomb, after it dies, also hits air. So it's pretty much like having a fireball in the deck, and for that reason, I took out the fireball. I put in the rocket, because Sparky is also pretty popular right now, so rocket should help me out a lot. Also, Lava Hound is popular, so rocket should get, like, a lot of value in these matchups. Also, I'm not going to do a story time today. I had a kind of a long day. kind of feel tired, so I'm going to kind of just, like, focus on the gameplay. Gonna bomb tower the middle. Speaking of Sparky, this guy is gonna be playing Sparky, but I already rocketed the pump, so I'm gonna have to defend that without a rocket. I think I'll be okay though. It's only single elixir, so he should not be able to do too much with this push. Gonna pop my ability here. Okay, good rage, but gonna skellies on the side and then go ice sphere on the Sparky. I'm gonna knight on this too. Okay, that should take out the Sparky. Alright, pretty good defense on my end. Um also, his deck, I think, has barbarians instead of like Dark Prince and Elite Barbarians, so I'm gonna log over here. And then that should hit the barbs, and then I'm going to pop my ability. Okay, missed one of them, but pretty good predict. I don't have to defend them now, so that was pretty good. He might go pump again, so right now I kind of have a genius idea. So I know that he's down one elixir on the dot, so I'm not going to play expert right away. I know that he's going to pump in the middle, so I'm going to skill he's in the back, let him have his elixir. Okay, he should be at 10 now, so I'm going to expo in the middle, predict it. <gasps> nice, wait, that was really good because now he can't mother witch. Because if he does, right, then it would just die to the Axpa and then the pump would die too. So now I think he has to save up for like Barbarians or Sparky or Goblin Giant. Sparky, wait, if that jumps on time. Oh my god. Queen, take it out, please. Don't zap, don't zap. No, that's going to die. Wait. Oh my god, it didn't die. Wow, that's actually amazing. Okay, I got the whole tower now. Now I was kind of lucky, I can't lie. I don't know how the Sparky didn't hit my Queen and the Axpa, but I got the entire tower because of this, I'm not complaining. All right. Game's pretty much in the bag now. I just have to defend like one or two more pushes. So I'm gonna knight in the back on the left. Gonna ice spear on the right to see if I can make it jump to the tower. He's probably gonna have to rage on it though. Yeah, just go for the rage on it. I'm gonna log on the right for the three barbs and then I'll just wait to see what he does. Gob giant. Okay, kind of a bad gob giant because I'm already back to my second knight. Second, so put it on the gob giant. Also, I don't think he's back to Rage, so I can't really do anything on the right lane. I'm going to log for the Spear Gobs, the Barbs, and the Dark Prince. Look at how much value that Bomb Tower got. Took out the whole Goblin Giant, took out two um, Barbarians, took out the Dark Prince, and kind of like distracted the Mega Minion. I'm going to go for a Knight on the right, and this game is over. I don't think he's going to want to defend because I'm already back to an Evo Knight. My first Evo Knight isn't even like dead. Okay, now it died, but I was already back to my second Evo Knight, so should be GG. I'll take the win. Kind of an easy matchup. But anyway, it's gonna hop right in. This is why I love this deck. It like completely counters Sparky. Sparky players can't do anything if you play this deck, so make sure to like give it a shot if you hate Sparky. Just gonna hop right in though. Alright, on to my next game. See what deck he's playing. I'm gonna go for Skellies in the back. Just gonna um see if he's gonna play anything. If not, I'll go knight in the back. Okay, I'm gonna knight on the side now. Don't wanna take that damage. I'm gonna just distract it. This kind of looks like Sparky already because he played a Heal Spirit and a Dark Prince. Okay, so it is gonna be Sparky. Nice. I love facing Sparky with this deck. They can't do anything. But anyway, it's gonna Queen the back here for the Dark Prince, and then he's probably gonna want the Sparky same lane or try to go like Gob Giant in the back or something. I'll wait to see what he does, but I feel like he might try to go Sparky in the back same lane. I really hope he does though, because then I get a Rocket and then I get like a Queen ability on the tower too. If not, I'll just go X on the opposite lane. Pop my ability. No, it didn't go off on time. Oh, that's annoying. If that went off on time, I would have been able to take out the E-Barbs without having to take any damage, but now I'm going to have to take like two hits on the tower because I don't want to Ice Spirit on that. I'll let that go for now because I can afford to eat it. And then Bomb Tower also kills the E-Barb and kills the Gob Giant. He did take out my Expo, but now that I know that he doesn't have Barbarians in the deck, I think I'll be okay. I didn't expect him to have E-Barbs though because I just faced Barbarians, so I thought he was going to have Barbarians too, but I guess not. going to go for um, Knight in the back at 10. I'm just going to knight in the back on the right lane, so I bait out the Dark Prince. Okay, right now, this could be a good push, because I'm going to go for, like, a queen below the knight, and then try to take out the Dark Prince, and then maybe try to Axe Bell. This could work, but not really too sure. See what he does here, though. If he goes Sparky, I'm going to rocket it. Yeah, I'm just going to rocket that tower damage, and then I'll go log and then ability on the E-Barbs. Okay, pretty good trade. I'll take that. I think he only has E-Barbs or, like, a Gob Giant to defend this, so should be a pretty valuable queen ability if I pop it on time, at least. Yeah, it did pop it on time, so I'll take that for sure. And then the other E-Barb is going to take two hits from my queen, so I can just go for, like, skellies on it, but I don't want to get predicted, so I'm going to kind of wait and then pull it back. All right, not too bad. Um, Good defense on that. 
I'm like kind of bouncing back in the game right now, but anyway, it's gonna go for an Ice Spirit this cycle. I'm back to it. Nah, I'm actually gonna play it in the middle because he might go Heal Spirit. I thought he was gonna. Okay, yeah, there we go. Nice. Gonna Knight, and then I'll just go for. Uh, huh. I guess I'll Queen the middle. I wanted to Bomb Tower, but I didn't know if he was gonna Sparky, so I wanted to Queen the middle. Queen's always safe because, like, even if he does something interesting, you can always, like, pop the ability and then get away with it. So, gonna Knight to split the damage. X on the tower. Nice. Gonna log here for the E barbs and then gonna pop my ability. Okay, that's a lot of damage. I kind of like got all my damage back. Actually, I'm up damage by like 600 now. I'll take that. That was so good. And he was gonna bomb tower the middle, set up for defense. So, just gonna expo. He's at 10 right now, so micro sparky in the back. Oh, I was kind of hoping he would because then he wouldn't be able to play a gob giant on time, but he actually played a dark prince in the back. So, he was just able to place the um, gob giant down. Gonna queen below my bomb tower. Then I'm gonna pop my ability on the gob giant and the E was. It's just gonna skellies on the side that he was is on my tower but it's my opposite lane so don't really care about that tower i'm not gonna rock it i don't think i need to I'm gonna log over here I'm gonna knight too see if i can keep the queen alive okay good e barbs but just gonna pop my ability now go off no it didn't go off that's annoying okay that should take out the sparky so it's a pretty good bomb tower in my opinion but anyways see what he does here dark prince in the back so i'm gonna knight on the left lane here. can't even go in right now because i've got the bomb tower down can't even like opposite lane pressure me, so I'm gonna queen the back here. I could honestly just like rock it on the tower right now and get away with it, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna rock it on the left side here. Good value on the rocket right there. Um, he might go barbs on this, or e barbs, I mean. So I'm gonna expo here. Wait, he should not be able to play the gob giant by like one second, I think. Yeah, okay, so he's gonna have to zap right now. He's at two, so he's gonna zap. Nice. And then he's probably gonna e whiz at four, so I'm just gonna skellies here and then let it go. Yeah, it does go for the e -wiz, so I'm just gonna like log on the Gob Giant and the e -wiz, and then gonna Ice Spirit. Okay, that might do like a lot more damage than what I thought it would, but it's so good. I'm still gonna win the game. I'm up like a lot of damage right now, so I'm just gonna Rocket Cycle now. I'm gonna Rocket and then Bomb Tower the middle, log Ice Spirit, Skeletons, and I'll be back to a second Rocket. So I'm just gonna do this, this, and this, and I'm back to my Rocket. So that is gonna be GG. Oh, I thought I missed there. If I missed that Rocket, I actually would have choked the game, but... I'll take the win, we don't talk about that. Just gonna hop right in, um, hopefully I face more Sparky. Alright, on to my next game, facing Wu. This guy has multiple top 10s with Splash Shard, so if he's playing his main deck, this could be a little bit tough, because I don't think I have matchup. Bomb Tower doesn't really do anything in that matchup, but... I take all of that back, though, he's playing a minor deck, so it could be minor wall breakers with Bats and Poison. Yeah, it is looking out to be like that deck, so I'm gonna Queen on the side to take out the Bats, and then... Might have to go Knight on the... Queen and the Knight. Okay, let's go for spare gobs on it. Not too bad. And then I'm going to let the queen take them out and then going to pop my ability on the knight. I know it's going to have to knight sometime soon. So I'm going to ice spear on the left here. Back to my expo now. So I'm actually going to log on the right. And then I'll go skellies on the left here to not take any damage. That was like a lot of elixir at once. I know he spent like a ton and he's down like three elixir right now. But I wouldn't be surprised if he like gets away with the defense because that deck is so annoying. They just like stall out the expo forever. Okay, he's already back to a new knight. So I'm not going to be able to do anything. To be fair though, that was a pretty decent bomb tower because I thought he was going to play it high, so I played my knight to block it, but then he played it low, so he was able to get some value on the bats and the knight. But yeah, not too bad though. Next cycle, he is going to be back to the evil knight, so I'm going to have to kind of watch out. I'm also going to be back to my evil knight because I played two, so I guess I'll kind of put mine on defense for his, but this matchup definitely not going to be optimal. Not sure how to get damage in this, but skillies the back here, and then I'll just go queen the back on the right lane. Okay. See what he does. Michael Miner on the left. I'm going to eat those. Yeah, I don't want to defend that with an evil knight and then just have him play like bats or something on it and then kill it. Or like wall breakers at back or something and then I'd have to spend more to not take any damage. So I wanted to kind of eat that. I'm going to rocket instead. I don't know if that's a good rocket, but definitely felt like a good rocket though. Anyways, I know it's going to spam me now because I rocketed. So I'm going to bomb tower the middle to defend all that and then I'm going to go for a knight on the miner. Yeah, I'll just do this to play it safe, and then I'll just go skellies over here to pull this away. Oh, good spare gobs, though. You're gonna ice spirit to pull the knight back, and then also gonna freeze all the spare gobs so I don't take any more damage. That was like a lot of damage at once. He straight up got like two rockets worth of damage right there, so that rocket definitely was not worth it. Gonna queen the bridge here to take out the bats. That is the evil knight, so I wanna kinda like over defend it a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit, though. Okay, kind of a bad minor. Wait, I'm gonna block the bomb tower, gonna pop my ability here. Wait. With this might lock on the tower. I know he's back to knight, but knight might die and this might lock on the tower, actually. Gonna bomb tower. Okay, he's probably gonna poison now. 
Yeah, let's go for the poison because I played the bomb tower. I'm going to log here and then the expo should be on the tower. Okay, not too bad. And then I'm going to defend the left side with skeletons. Just going to expo right now. He is super low right now, but I think he's back to Evo Knight. Yeah, he was down like a whole 7 elixir right there, but that Evo Knight is going to bail him out because now he has enough for like minor bats. And then, yeah, he's just going to minor bats. Can't even like rocket that. I was thinking about it, but yeah, if I rocketed that, that would have been horrible because I was not going to get any damage in here. It's going to bomb tower on defense here on the left lane. Evil Knight should die now. So I'm going to Evil Knight on defense. Nice. I caught the miner, so not too bad. But yeah, I'm already down like 1200 though. I don't know how, how to come back from this. Gonna expo. Gonna ice bear on the left. Take out all the bats. Okay, wait. Uh, Log Skelly is here. Take out all the wall breakers. Wait, what? How did that not die? I played that so fast. Anyway, it's gonna block the spear gobs and then gonna go expo in the middle. He's gonna minor in the middle tank and then try to get back to second night and then just go evil night again and I'm cooked. I can't do anything. So there's that. But just gonna pop my ability on the bats. He's about to play the wait. Oh. Wait, gonna log. Wait, I think he lost. He's gonna wall breakers. I'm gonna block it with the bomb tower. Yeah, I think he lost. Okay, nice. Oh, okay. That feels a lot better. Oh my god. I didn't think I was going to be able to win that matchup, but that one lock kind of built me out. I'll take the win, though. I'm going to hop right in. I'll see you when I find a game. All right, on to my next game. This guy beat me like half an hour ago, and then he beat him so much. I was playing Expo Tesla, and then um, I wasn't able to kill the recruits, but now I should be able to do something about them, so I think I'll be able to win, though. But yeah, I'm just going to like him a lot if I win. Just go for the recruits already. Um, not fun at all. Also, his playstyle is kind of weird. I don't think he ever played the recruits like behind his king once. He always played it like in front of his tower. It's kind of a weird gameplay, but um, see how this goes. Gonna go for a queen in the back at 10 elixir on the left lane here. See if he's gonna fireball this. He does have the fireball in the deck, and then he has the bomb tower too. If he does fireball, I'm gonna expo, but if not, I'm probably not gonna expo for now. Actually, I could go expo on the right because I know that he's not back to recruits. Yeah, I'm just gonna expo on the right. He's gonna be two off recruits right now. Okay, one off, and then he's probably gonna do something on my queen bats. Okay, so back to recruits, but he has like six right now. Probably seven now, though. Just go for the recruits. I'm gonna bomb tower the middle, take them out. Not gonna let that dash into my bomb tower. I kind of need it alive right now. But wait, that might die. How did those dash? That's actually insane. Okay, I'm gonna have to eat the wall breakers now because those things dashed, and then I had to go for like a knight on the right side recruits. If the um, three or four of the recruits didn't like dash into my bomb tower, I wouldn't have to like spend any elixir on the right lane and then I'd be able to log out the left. I'm not sure if I'll be able to win the game anymore, but I'll try though. Okay, good spare gobs. Wait, he's not going to have enough for recruits. Oh, right, the bomb tower. I keep forgetting about the bomb tower. Yeah, I kind of knew he was going to play the bomb tower like right after I let go of the expo. Okay, going to have to let that die now. Kind of a bad expo by me. I like forgot that he has a bomb tower in the deck. But all good though. I still kind of have a shot, but like this is not looking too good. I'm gonna queen the back on the right. He's probably gonna recruit in front of his tower like he's been doing, but bomb tower should get like decent value. I just need him to play like right now though, so I'll be able to axe. But oh, wait, played it in the back. I'm actually gonna log rocket right now. Okay, not too bad. Good log rocket on the recruits, and then I'm just gonna defend the left lane now. Gonna bomb tower the middle. He's probably going to poison this and then try to go minor or like fireball. I don't know if he has a fireball or a poison, but he's going to play the big spell. Yeah, it does go for the poison. Okay. That makes it a little bit more tough because fireball would have been like a lot better for me. But all good. I still think I have a shot with that rocket cycle. I'm going to log on the left here and then try to go bomb tower the middle again. Okay, see what he does now. I'm going to go for... The queen in the back corner and then just gonna go for like skellies in the middle to not let that thing charge gonna knight to catch it oh that was a good miner i hate to admit it but that was actually a really good miner gonna go for ice fear on the side okay gonna log now and then i'll just go for i guess that axe on the right lane okay just gonna pop my ability on the spare gobs wait he might not be able to recruit on time <gasps> axe on the tower i'm gonna be him oh my god oh i thought i was gonna lose that that was so annoying but i'll take the win though pretty easy win at the end after I got the luck. But yeah, I'm gonna play one more. I'll see you when I find a game. But that is gonna put me at like probably 250. Okay, on to my last game here. See what deck he's playing. I'm just gonna go for skellies in the back and then just gonna go for a knight in the back. Okay, see what deck he's playing. Wait, I'm pretty sure that guy plays Sparky. I've seen that name somewhere. Yeah, it is gonna be Sparky. Okay, nice. Good matchup again. I love facing Sparky with this deck. It's so unwinnable for this Sparky player, but. If he plays well, he could win in single. 
Especially with the minions, actually. I just cycle my queen, so if he goes gob giant and then like a dark prince or like a mini peck on the right, that could be pretty tough to defend. He's gonna have to defend my queen, obviously. They're gonna log here. Oh, he's playing barbarians. Okay, this is like straight out impossible now. He's not gonna be able to do anything because if they have barbarians in the sparky deck, that means they don't really have a dark prince or a mega minion. They only have like, or not a mega minion, a mini peka. They only have like a mega minion and minions in the deck. And this guy's a mother witch, so I don't think he has a mega minion. He probably only has like minions. But anyway, he's gonna rocket on the sparky right now and then see what he does. He definitely did not expect a rocket in my deck though, that's for sure. But he's probably gonna have to go for like a gob giant on defense. Yeah, I thought so. That was a pretty good defensive gob giant. He can't even like evil barbs or anything. I have to bomb tower right now, so I'm gonna bomb tower in the middle. Okay, kind of a bad pump. He's at one elixir right now, so I'm gonna axe on the right and then see if I can like take out the minions on my expo. Because I know that that's his only option. If I play a really good ice spirit, wait, that might actually... Oh, I missed like one minion and then he played a heal spirit. That was a really good heal spirit, but look at the tower damage I got. That was some pretty good tower damage. I'll take that for sure. And then I'm gonna log in the middle for that pump. I think it denies like two elixir if I pump or if I log in the middle for the pump, so I'll be okay. Yeah, just gonna log in the middle and then I'll just go for... Okay, really bad Sparky. I don't know what that was supposed to be, but... Just gonna go for like a knight on the sparky gonna play it like pretty far low so it doesn't lock on the sparky like right away and then take a lot of damage it is gonna take the second shot too though i kind of played it like too far down it's all good though um i'll definitely get back to a second evo knight but yeah for now i'm gonna bomb tire the middle I'm not gonna rocket the pump i don't have to yeah i don't really have to rocket the pump i just have to go for like a log in the middle i don't know why he's playing them in the middle by the way he could have been like playing them in the back but to be fair though i would rocket them if he played it in the back so I guess that's just about his only option right now. Anyways, I'm gonna double log the Mother Witch out. So I'm gonna play a Knight in the back and then I'll be one off log. Okay, back to my log now. So I'm gonna log it out. Okay, I wanna rocket the pump, but I don't know if I should. Nah, I don't really have to. Yeah, whatever, I'm not gonna do it. Just gonna go for a Queen in the back. Kinda leaked like a few elixir right there, but should not matter anyways. He can't Gob Giant, by the way. He's not even like back to Gob Giant right now. Okay, he's back now, but I don't think he can play it on time. Never mind. okay. Knight lived with 1 HP and then the Sparky was like able to push itself kind of back and then yeah he was able to afford a Gob Giant in front. But yeah that was some pretty good defense actually. Okay that was like really good defense on second thought. Might be able to do something. Gonna log. Pop my ability here. Okay he is gonna Gob Giant on the right lane. Okay I'm gonna Bomb Tower. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I can like get some damage here. Gonna log for the Heal Spear he's about to play. Nice. Wait, that was really good. I spawned the tower for like a little bit. Okay, that was like 500 damage. I'll take that for sure. Just gonna go for an expo again. Wait, he can't play a gob giant on time. He's only gonna be able to play like barbs in the middle. Yeah, just go for the barbs in the middle. Gonna go for queen and then I'll just go for... Hmm. I don't know what to go for right now because I know that he's back to gob giant. Okay, really bad minions. Those are gonna go in front of the gob giant. So I don't know if they're gonna do anything right now, but... I'm gonna knight anyways though. And then just gonna go for skellies on the... Gob giant. I'm gonna expo now because I'm back to my expo. Wait, he's again gonna have to go for like a barbs in the middle. Yeah, because he couldn't like sparky into that randomly. Okay, I just have to defend now. I'm gonna go for ice spirit log, pop my ability. Oh, I hit the heal spirit again. Two on two. Nice. I'll take that. I'm gonna ice spirit and then wait, expo on the tower? Okay. Yeah, I'll just rocket on the tower now. I just have to rocket cycle. So I'm gonna bomb tower. Gonna log too. Uh, I think that's two logs and a rocket now. I'm not really too sure. I'm going to check the damage right now. 492. Okay, yeah. So it is going to be two logs and a rocket. Going to scale these over here. Going to queen on this side. And then just going to go for a log. And then going to go for like a rocket right now. And then I'll be back to a log. So that is going to be GG. I'm going to end the video there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And next video, I'm probably going to... um play like a different deck on ladder or try to drop the magic guide it's gonna be one or the other but love you guys bye